Okay, if you're looking for a MOSFET testing circuit for N-channel or P-channel, I found a really good one online, and it'll be in my description box where to find that circuit. I'll show you what I put together here. It's got two red LEDs. It's got a double pole, double throw switch, single pole, single throw switch for the power, uh, green LED. That's a 10K potentiometer. And just the back, all the connections on it. Works really good. On the connector here, it's hard to see with this camera because I really can't zoom in, but it says gate drain source and gate drain source. The ones that are marked in black correspond to the black side of the switch, which is N channel. And if you want to check, right, that would be N channel on that side. You want to test P channel, you slide it this way, and you check P channel. So I'm going to take one of these right here. That's an N channel. It's an IRF Z44. And this is a P channel. So let me switch this over to N. And I'm going to connect it right here. Okay, I have the N channel MOSFET installed. Gate drain source corresponding to the slots in the harness, gate drain source. Now, power's on. It's set for N channel. You do not want to see either of these red LEDs illuminate. You do want to see the green illuminate. So you just slowly turn this potentiometer. All right, see the green light came on. You keep turning it. And if it goes off and on, that's fine, but as long as you keep turning it through the whole motion of the potentiometer and either of these never come on and that comes on, you're good. So now I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to switch over to the PN, the P channel. One second. Okay, now the P channel is installed, gate drain source, same way, in the other three slots. I'm going switch, to switch over to the P channel testing which is that side. Turn the power on. Alright, light is already on. It's a good sign. Now, if I could go this way so you can see it. I'm going to turn this. It's okay if the light goes on and off. Alright, which it does. And you notice none of the red lights come on. That's a good one. Now, I did have a bad one laying around, which I would have loved to show you because then you would have seen the red light come on. But, I don't. But it does work, a real handy tester, and I recommend building one if you like to put together a lot of circuits and you want to test out your components.